Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to install drives in the OWC Thunder Bay 6 external enclosure. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static free work surface. We're now ready to begin. The first thing we'll need to do is remove the front panel from the Thunder Bay. Simply insert the key that came with the Thunder Bay into the lock on the front of the enclosure and turn it clockwise. You should then be able to angle the front panel forward and lift it up and out. Remove each of the drive trays by first loosening the thumb screw at the top all the way, then using it to pull the tray out. For three and a half inch drives, there are a total of six screw holes, three on each side. These will line up with the six holes on the side of the tray. Set the drive into the tray, then secure it with six of the slightly thicker hard drive screws included with the Thunder Bay. For two and a half inch drives, such as many SSDs, the four mounting holes on the bottom of the drive line up with the corresponding holes in the bottom of the tray. All you need to do here is align the holes and use four of the slightly smaller included screws to secure it in place. Once you've secured all the drives in their trays, you can slide the trays back into their respective slots and secure them by tightening the thumb screw. Finally, slide the front cover into place so that the pegs on the lower part go into the slots on the enclosure, then lean the cover up so that it lays flush against the front and turn the key counterclockwise to lock it in place. You can also optionally install an M2 drive in the Thunder Bay 6. You can access the M2 drive slot from the rear of the unit. The first step to do this is to remove the two Phillips screws holding the fan assembly in place. Once the screws are removed, you can lean the assembly forward, lift it out of the Thunder Bay, and set it to the side. The M2 drive slot is located on the logic board behind the fan. Remove the retaining screw from the drive bay and we're ready to install the drive. There's a notch in the SSD module that corresponds with the pin in the drive slot. Align the two and slide the module into the slot as far as it'll go. Then, secure the module with the retaining screw you removed earlier. Finally, replace the fan unit and secure it with its two screws. Your OWC Thunder Bay 6 is now ready to format and use. 